Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how, with a little help from BOS, you can make your C8 look just as good as this one. So stay tuned, because I'm going to show you how to win wheels just like the ones on this C8. All right, everyone, welcome back to Brink of Speed. We are in Scott Grindle's amazing, I don't know if you call this a man cave garage. It's a man cave office. <laughs> yeah, it's a man cave office, but this is absolutely amazing. And he's got his 2023 C8 Corvette with the Forge Light wheels, the ACS composite components on it, and the R1 concept brake kit that he won last April from the big Brink of Speed giveaway. So we're gonna walk around his car, we're gonna show you the spec of this thing and then show you everything that he's done to it along with everything that he got for free from the giveaway that's on the car. If you're excited about this video, give it a big thumbs up and let's get going. So tell us about the car a little bit. It is a 23. Yes, sir. Is it a Z51? No Z51. Okay. Uh, I didn't feel like I was going to track, track it much, so I thought maybe I'll do some spirited track days uh so that wasn't was something that wasn't something i was shooting for sure so the, the additional monies weren't worth it how about mag ride it doesn't have mag ride either front lift we do have the front lift okay we do have the front lift and what is the trim level lt2 okay so we definitely went that way uh, due to all the and i think one of your videos mentions that it's you get quite a bit for your money at least in the 23 models i think the 24 is it's not as you know big of a value i don't know that the lt2 and the 24s because a buddy of mine's fixing to get one of those a torch red obviously uh went with the uh the, the high wing uh, yeah and you went with the body color wing. i love it yeah yeah uh, i thought it really set the car off um so for me that was like a no-brainer and uh let's see two-tone seats with the gt2 seats let's get in there and take yeah a look. go ahead and pop the door it'll see it's open oh yeah and you got the suede yeah yeah that's the suede awesome. is super nice oh yeah um one with the carbon fiber inserts which i thought i'm not a i like carbon fiber but i'm not in love with it like some people but i thought the touches that it had here were were pretty nice yeah so um definitely so those that's a factory option those ones yes and you went with the, uh stealth interior stealth interior was a no-brainer to me because wow. i was yeah. black and Red and black all the way. Yeah, I went yeah. with the Jake R logo package, which not a lot of people do, but I thought was really, really cool. I really like it. And when I put it out there uh, for the friends to, you know, give me their thoughts, everybody voted basically yes. go with that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm glad a lot of people don't do it because it yeah. makes mine totally yeah, a little bit more out. unique. Exactly. So, well, you so, took yeah. your Z51 dollars and optioned the car. That's out right. To the That's max. exactly right. I just probably smart. did it off 
your videos or someone's videos who was like, you know, if you don't plan on doing this, put the money in. I wanted plush stuff, right? I wanted right. it to be a nice, you know, right? I went with the performance exhaust. That was a no-brainer to me. Uh, yeah, you got the black tips as well. Black tips. Uh, yeah. With that, again, go along with the stealth look. Yes, sir. So, so yeah. Um, and then tell us what you've done on the outside that is aftermarket. Yeah, so my first uh, thought was I've been driving a 2005 Tacoma around sure. all these years. So I thought protection, protection, protection. So one of the first things I did was I put seal protectors in. Oh, yeah. Everybody drags their feet, including me, no matter how careful you think you're going to be. So you got a little bit of a, you could see it there, but for me, it's not that big a deal and I'm protecting the car. So it was one of the very first things I did Yeah, was seal protect it. The is, next, that, is that a kit you buy for that? Yeah, one? it was a laser cut kit off of eBay. Just some that looks good. Yeah, and nobody really notices it, you know. Uh, the next thing I did is I called Joseph, which by the way, thanks Joseph for, Heck yeah. for being super cool about the diffusers instead of the Z06 rockers, because I already had them. <laughs> Yeah, so, so just to let everybody know, we were giving away the Z06 rockers. However, he had already purchased them. That's right. So we did something special with ACS Composite, and they gave him yeah. the rear diffuser. The monies instead. weren't equal, so I do appreciate, you know, because I, what would I, I was going to eBay them or sell them. So. Right, right, right. But uh, when I made the call to Joseph, he actually answered the phone. I was talking to oh, him, yeah. and I said, I definitely want the splitter. That's a no-brainer. Yeah, you went with the 1VM. The 1VM splitter. Uh, the rock guards, which yeah. I thought were very key. Oh, yeah. And then he says, you know, I just came out with the Z6 side rockers. Because I told him I may call him back because I wasn't quite sold on the, the 1VM the ones, yeah. rocker. Sure. Uh, I definitely wasn't 5VM guys, just not my style. Uh, but when he said, hey, I just started doing these. And I said, well, let me find them. And I was on the computer. I found them, and a couple of seconds later, it's added to the cart. Oh, yeah. So uh, I did those three things first uh, to protect the car for the most part with the, um, the rock guards for sure. And then the other pieces were just like, okay, I'm going to do these no matter what. So I'll just go ahead and pull the trigger. So so show us your engine bay real quick. Yeah. And we'll get to sure. the... Uh, now, Scott, all the parts, ACS parts, did you install these yourself? Yes. So you can vouch for how easy it is. It's very easy. I follow Joe's videos for the most part, or Joseph's videos. He does sure. a very good job. He does his an excellent. Video. Yeah. Instead of the Z06 rocker, since we're talking ACS, these are the diffusers that yes. he was able to hook me up with. So again, thanks, Joseph and the ACS team. I bought the, uh, the appearance package from a gentleman in Miami. I can't think of his name right now, but it was it's got the the rails are carbon uh uh right carbon fiber carbon fiber it's got the stealth emblem and then i didn't want to get too much more red in here so i just went with the, the carbon black. fiber yeah, appearance carbon. Yeah. uh package there Very so cool. now what brand are these do you know i don't know i could get you guys the the no, name of them but uh, yeah they look really good so yeah i added the, the jake r mat uh, cargo mats both front and rear very nice. I did not for the light package, thinking I would find something that uh, I would like better or was a better, it, you know, <clears throat> made the engine look a little bit nicer. But uh, sure, I, I can't find things that I'm, I'm, I'm very much about the clean look. I didn't want a bunch of battery right. and stuff there, a bunch of wires traping. So right. I haven't found an aftermarket thing. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do the OEM uh, light kit. Okay. Along with the little insert that another YouTuber has promoted. I think Paragon does it actually too. The little uh, on off switch. Oh, yeah, I yeah. Tricks. So I'm going to eventually do yeah, those things. Cool. But I haven't got there yet. Let's see. What else have I done? So I've got the whole front end PPF'd. So everything from the doors down and the A pillar down, including the windshield. The windshield's got the XO windshield protection. Yes. I was I was back and forth on doing that, but I actually, within just a few hundred miles, had already got a nick because it's a lot of windshield. Oh yeah, that's really low. Yeah, yeah. So the whole front end, including all of the carbon flash, has been PPF. Nice. I've done a few things inside. I put okay. the. Uh, uh, I was gifted a radar detector. So oh, yeah. if you look, I have the land mount. Yeah. Uh, holder. Yeah. Radar oh, detector. Yeah. 
and the uh, the little wiring for that that goes it's super easy to do. If you got a radar detector, it's it's never in the way. Even if it's not in or out, it, it works great. So sure. So then he so, decided to do this, guys. This little oh, yeah, trick, yeah, yeah. That's right. which was pretty awesome and very very cheap. It is the cheapest mod on the car. Absolutely. Car. And I'm going to continue to do the rest of those things, at least most of them. The start button I'm going to get the smoked out for the back uh, lenses. I may think about doing the. Uh, the uh, infotainment screen protector you guys do a really good job on that video i lean more towards probably neighbor mark with this guy <laughs> it is truly a sunday driver go out to eat dinner sure she's never seen rain we got some other things planned but nothing but engine i'm perfectly fine with the engine yeah. i've had an offer for an aftermarket exhaust but i'm definitely not doing anything to avoid any warranty right right now. right so we don't want to do that so real quick, Scott decided to be an amazing guy and support the Brinka Speed channel with the Team BOS 2023 package. And when he did that, he was also entered into the big giveaway. And <laughs> he actually had a conversation with uh, Darren on Instagram saying, hey, I'm really just supporting the channel. Darren's like, well, you never know. And look, what yeah, happened? that's when Scott was talking about buying them. You're, you made your mind. You were buying the wheels. You I just, was going to yeah, decide, was gonna buy Ford's like he wheels decide anyway. what style. Yeah, yeah. Just kind and then uh, of with all the other stuff I was doing with the, you know, uh, her her area she lives in, uh, <laughs> I was like, well, even with the nice uh, holiday discount that they were providing, it was like, uh, I'll do it later. Maybe an income tax present to her. Sure, <laughs> sure. Well, I had come along those uh, 2021 gloss or 2022 gloss OEM wheels, which was perfectly fine for, for, for us or for me. Uh, the only thing I was going to, I would say about those wheels was you don't get the offset, right? You definitely, yeah, you definitely don't get part. the stance that the Forge Light gives you. So. I mean, what's people's response when you take this car out? They got to love it. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I love it because if you park this next to just a regular C8, it stands out. Yeah. It looks different. Yeah. Plus, it's uh, we're in uh, University of Georgia territory. So yeah. <laughs> right. Millions and millions of people love these this color. Obviously, that's one of the biggest reasons I got it. Um, you know, so. So if you're new on the channel and you didn't know about the giveaway, just so you guys know, what Scott won was these beautiful Forge Light wheels and they are MC5s in carbon flash metallic. These are what are on, obviously, the BOS 2.0. And then you'll notice the brakes are slotted and drilled. And that's because he won R1 Concept brakes for the front and the rear. And that's not just the rotors, but it's also the pads. And then, as he said back here, he also won the ACS composite rear diffuser fin and all that came to him because he decided to uh, support the Brink of Speed community and he's even got his shirt on right there. Yes sir. <laughs> Team BOS 20. This is what you get with the supporter package right. which I think was the coolest piece of the package. So, uh, so you get a little swag with this. I highly recommend it. Especially if Yeah, I appreciate that. Look, look so, yeah, and, the, and check this out. He's got all the underdog products, which you've been using. <laughs> yeah, look at all the towels from underdog. And for those that don't know, you know, we're on our way to Carlisle. In Carlisle, for those that purchase the underdog coating product box, yeah. this is going to get you entered to do two sets of wheels that we're giving away. That's right. And that and goes online as well. If, if you go you, online, use the code say. Rink Up Speed, you will be entered into winning a set of Forge Light Wheels. Forge Light Wheels, yeah, exactly. I wanted to say one more oh, yeah. thing Go ahead. Uh, to your partnership with uh, wheel designers and Forge Light Wheels, because technically I think the, the package was just for the 1920s. Sure. And they went ahead and did the 2021s. Yeah. So thanks to Forge Light for, for, for doing that. Jose's well. a great guy. So, so yeah. Thank yeah. You. Thanks, to, thanks to those of you. So Darren and I, we made the trip and we haven't made it there yet but we decided to drive from texas down to corvette to carlisle and we wanted to stop by scott's house and do a video for him because we told you guys in the very beginning with the uh, big giveaway that whoever won it we hoped that they owned a c7 or c8 so that they would put the parts on it and we could come do a video for them so that's what we did here today i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a big thumbs up i hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you guys out on the road.